hello Scorpio how are you I hope this finds you well so we are going to be doing your rest of November general love reading and everything that you'll need to know whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings all of that is in the description box below for you now I do have a special going for you guys it is a person on your mind recorded video reading for 2222 it covers how they view you and feel about you what their intentions and next actions towards you are, the challenge between the two of you, as well as the potential outcome. And everything that you'll need to know about scheduling is posted on the community page for you. All right, my loves, let's take a look at Scorpio and see what is going on for you guys. We have the death. Clarified by the magician. We have the Eight of Cups, clarified by the Devil. We have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Page of Swords. And we have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck for the general overall energy. It's being influenced by the Five of Swords and the Three of Wands. Scorpio, I'm going to be honest. I feel like there's somebody here that you guys have already experienced an ending with. Um, but this person feels very determined. Some of you guys, it could be a Capricorn. Um, because I, I definitely feel this, this devil energy here. Some of you guys, it could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. Um, for others, I feel like this devil energy could just be representing. Like there is some kind of attachment here between the two of you right this could be somebody that you guys just either even if you're not communicating even if you're not communicating for quite some time you always kind of feel their energy um and you always kind of know that like they're gonna pop back around or you're gonna pop back around it's like one of the it feels like one of those connections okay uh where you just for whatever reason you guys have a really hard time shaking each other okay now i do feel like i feel like this is something that you guys have been trying to move away from because I do feel like with this devil energy, it's like you recognize that this is not, it's, it's an attachment, but it's not a healthy one, you know, and that's why you're, you're trying to move away from it. I feel like there's something about it where you just, either it's just not, it's flat out just not good for you with this devil energy to the eight of cups. And that's why you feel like you need to leave it behind. Um, or it's just like, you never really, you always feel like you're kind of settling. You're not ever really feeling fulfilled or getting what you need out of the connection. Right. Um, so we have this death card here. Like I said, I feel like this is something that has already come to a close, but I feel like this person's having a, they just don't want to accept that. Okay. Or some of you guys, it's, it's that they don't want to accept it. Some of you guys, it's just, um, what they're used to. And what I mean by that is if you guys have always kind of found your way back to each other, um, you know, it's like they have this expectation that that's going to happen again. Like, oh, well, you know, even if it's four months or five months that we haven't talked, a year that we haven't talked, we always end up talking. So it's, it's like that kind of feeling where they always feel like you guys will come back to each other. Um, but also with this magician, you know, I kind of feel like that's what they want. They, they want to make that happen. So even though something has come to a close, I feel like this person hasn't really accepted that it has come to a close. I haven't really accepted that this is something that is, you know, over. Um, it feels like a resistance to that. Even here, this Five of Swords to the Three of Wands. The Five of Swords can be a card of getting what you want by any means necessary. And the Three of Wands, like I feel like this person is still hopeful that there's a future here. The Three of Wands is like having positive expectations. It's also future thinking, planning, and foresight. So somebody still feels like, okay, well, I don't care if we're not talking right now, or I don't care if Scorpio doesn't want to talk to me right now. I don't care if Scorpio has me blocked right now. 
because I know that we'll come back together. Um, that's kind of the energy that it feels. But the Five of Swords and the Magician here, the Five of Swords can be kind of, it can be a very manipulative energy. It's somebody who's like winning at all costs, right? I'm going to get what I want regardless of what I have to do or say to make that happen. Um, and the Magician can, you know, in its shadow aspect, also be somebody who's got tricks up their sleeves or somebody who's kind of manipulative. So I do feel like you're going to hear from a person. Somebody's going to be coming in to tell you how they feel um, about you. And I do feel like they do have genuine feelings for you. But I also feel like there's a little bit of like an arrogance here, a little bit of like a expectation, like, okay, well, even if Scorpio doesn't answer me right now, or even if Scorpio says this right now, I know that it's going to come back together. And some of that is like, that's just what they're used to, right? Or they could feel like, um, you know, they, they feel the same energy connection or, you know, attachment that you do. Now, I feel like Scorpio, you're better able to recognize that yes, there is this connection here, there is this attachment here that I feel to you, but you're able to recognize that for what it is in the sense that it's not a healthy, it's not a healthy attachment. It could even be, you know, codependent. Um, and I feel like you're able to recognize that, but I feel like this person is not seeing that they're seeing, you know, it's like we just have this, this special connection, this bond, it's unbreakable. And even though I feel like you feel that connection and bond too, I feel like you're able to view it a little differently. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say there. Now we have this eight of cups here. I feel like you are, like I said, trying to move on from this, trying to leave this behind because like I said, some of you guys, it could just be a Capricorn. For others of you, you're just recognizing like this is not, this is something that's kind of held me back. This is not something that's healthy for me. This is not something that's in alignment with what I, you know, who I'm trying to be and where I'm trying to go. And I have this vision of my life that I want, this love that I want. This is not in alignment with that. And I feel like you're trying your best to, um, you know, move forward, move away from that here. I feel like you have accepted that something is over. I feel like they have not. But I also feel like you guys are on a, I want to say like self-improvement, self-healing, spiritual kind of journey. I'm not quite sure that this person is, you know, I'm not sure that they're there yet. You have the eight of wands coming up. I definitely feel like, um, a few things from this one I feel Scorpio that you are going to be receiving communication from this person okay absolutely but I also feel like the eight of wands all these wands are moving in a very specific direction I feel like the more clear you are of your destination your dream and vision where where you're trying to go right um, the easier you'll be able to see that something is either going to get, hold you back from that or get you closer to it. You know, it's going to make you making those decisions a lot easier. Um, I feel like Spirit's really wanting you to get clear about where you're trying to go and uh, hold on to that uh, vision for yourself because you can have it and you deserve it. We have the Page of Swords here. So I definitely feel like there's going to be some kind of, and it's clarified, that's what's clarifying this Eight of Wands. I feel like there's going to be some kind of communication coming in Scorpio that you're going to be really like looking at, reviewing, trying to figure out how do I want to respond to this? What do I want to do with this? Do I want to respond to this? Uh, for most of you, I don't feel like you do. You have this death energy here. I feel like you are able to accept that something has come to a close. I feel like you're feeling like it is time for that. Yeah, we have the three swords. Even though I feel like there's a part of you you know, where it's, it's not easy. It's not easy for you to do that. It's not easy for you to kind of um, break the cycle, right? And that's what you're doing. You know, when, when we're in a cycle for the person, the only way to really truly like break that cycle, that karmic cycle is when it comes back around, we have to do something differently than what we've done in the past. And if you've always, you know, opened back up to it or allowed the communication or taken this person back, then, you know, that's kind of what we have to do differently in order to kind of break that cycle here. Um, and I feel like that's what you're doing. You know, I feel like you're breaking a very toxic cycle here. And even though I think it's, it's hard to do, I think it's difficult. Um, I think it hurts on you know, some level. I think you're finally opening yourself up to be able to, to let something go and to grieve, to allow yourself to grieve, um, and move forward. Yeah. We have the hermit here. So a lot of introspection, a lot of wisdom. You know, I'm very proud of you, Scorpio. 
But that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. If this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. Information for the special is on the community page and I will see you guys next time.